Nice. Father, where are you from? What, what diocese? Columbus. Okay, what's your, what's your parish? My home parish is uh, St. Catherine of Siena in Bexley. And I'm assigned to a group of parishes down near Portsmouth. I'll be starting in August. Okay, is this your first, C first CYSC? Uh, nope. I've been coming okay. for like seven years. My oh. first time as a priest, though. Wow, tell me about it. What, what impact did it have on your life? Oh, huge impact. Um, just seeing God work in people's mm -hmm. lives, having Him work in my life in powerful ways, mm -hmm. um, and just that opportunity to set time apart for God, mm -hmm. to have fun, and also to, to glorify God in, in special ways that you can't really in your everyday life. Um, so just having that time apart. It's been a great thing in my life, and it's I've seen it change lives here. So that's why I come back year after year. Awesome. Give me give me a quick 411 on your own story, kind of the was there, went through here, and now I'm here kind of thing. Sure. Well, I was uh, I was a student at OSU, um, working on a degree in tech ed, and uh, kind of was starting to ask the right kind of questions, like what might God be calling me to. So I started hearing a call to seminary. Went to seminary for six years. It was a great time, and. Uh, now here I am as a priest six years later, and just loving it. Praise God. So one, two, two more things. Um, if you had the captive audience of teenagers throughout the world, you had 30 seconds to speak to them, to kids in the culture, and uh, all that they're into, speak to them right now. If, if they were tuned in, what would you say to them? Well, I would definitely and Just talk say, to them. Imagine that they're watching sure. you right now. I would say, don't be afraid to do what God's calling you to do, because God loves you, and God is... Uh, completely concerned with what's going on in your life, with your struggles and your hopes and dreams, and um, to not be afraid to love him in the Eucharist and love him through Mary, and to just be like the, the Catholic that you're meant to be, to be on fire and to be that missionary um, where you are in the world. You don't have to go to a foreign country, but you can be a missionary, be one sent by God uh, right where you are in school and in your families. Awesome. One final question. So a lot of parents, you know, I don't know. They fear taking control, taking the video games out of kids' hands, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. What advice do you give to parents? From being around kids a long time, what do kids really want? Talk to parents. Give them advice. Um, I would say, you know, kids just want to be loved, you know, and uh, if they know you love them, they're not going to be as resistive when you do have to, you know, punish and take things away. But it's just that, that base of love and praying for your kids on a daily basis is so important. Thank you, Father. You rock. You can drive off into the sunset. <laughs> awesome, thank you. I hope Silva.